Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This video is sponsored by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in a career in the ever-growing firearms industry, arm yourself with an education. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online learning like armorer courses all the way up to an associate degree. Visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at seven budget handguns worth loving and let's start right here with the kel P17. This has an MSRP of $199, it's really not selling that low at this point in time, but if you consider everything that it has, it's a budget price and it is worth loving. Now, I wasn't even sure I'd like it, but then I took it to the range and it fed, fired, ejected everything and I ran many different types of 22 long rifle. Machine screws throughout ambidextrous thumb safety, ambidextrous magazine release on the trigger guard, three 16 round magazines, plus one is 17, where it got its name, P17. Unique slide assembly, right there, lightweight spring. Has a pick rail under the dust cover, thread adapter that is included in the case, in case you want to run a can, a fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight, a pre-cocked hammer with red that serves as an indicator, and a trigger that I am measuring at three and a quarter pounds. Single action, pre-cocked hammer, trigger, three and a quarter pounds. It's a straight shooter, 3.8 inch fixed barrel, Mentioned the thread adapter. Everything that it offers with three mags makes it definitely a budget handgun that I found to be real enjoyable. For 22 long rifle, a great training tool for, for some kid or some people just getting involved in the shooting sports. I think the kel P17 is a nice pistol. And actually, and I didn't think it would be, it's worth loving. Here is the Ruger Security 9. When this was first released, a lot of people took notice. The LCP2 was very popular, and then Ruger took the technology with the hammer action and the trigger action and put it into the Security 9, created a 4-inch barrel compact size model. They now make a smaller one. This is the larger Security 9. And it has been great. MSRP 449. I see it even in today's market right around 350 bucks. Let's check it out. Nice ergonomic feel to it. It is a hammer fired gun. It does have drift adjustable field goal like rear sights, a front dot, forward serrations, full pick rail, 15 round magazines, and a budget handgun. Also a thumb safety on this model. They make another model that they call the Pro model without the thumb safety, but a trigger right around five pounds with a reset right there. Not the shortest reset, but at the range, you can pop off the rounds really well. I, I really enjoyed this Security 9. I think they did a nice job. They created a compact size pistol for not a lot of money, 15 round mags, and you know, a hammer, hammer gun with a nice trigger. It, it sort of has everything that people want with what I consider, at least the gun store price, a budget price. How can I make a video like this without mentioning the Taurus G3C? Very popular model from Taurus. They now make the Toro model that is optic ready. This is not. This is a standard G3C with an MSRP of 340. It used to be 305, but it was raised in the past year. It does come with three 12 round magazines and a very nice trigger. Now, the G3 series has a wider trigger bar safety, makes a world of difference, much better on the finger. Short reset right here. We're looking at about five and a half pounds. Has an accessory rail, front serrations, black serrated rear sights, front dot, Glock interchangeable, which is nice. Also has a thumb safety on the left side of the pistol and second strike capability. All right, that'll go into double action. A sight hole indicator, 3.2 inch barrel, a very fine reputation. A lot of people love this gun, and I, I think it's pretty great for what it is. Budget priced, 12 round magazines, comes with three, and it's been great. I've shot steel case and hollow points and everything else through it, and it has functioned just fine. Here we have the car CW9. Check out that frame. 
It has a carbon fiber wrap to it. It gives a, a rubbery sort of feel to it. An excellent grip on this pistol. Comes with mags that carry seven rounds. It will accept the larger car mags. 3.5 inch barrel. It is very light, 22 ounces loaded with eight rounds. Three dot sights and excellent trigger. I love the car pistols. I, I find them to be so smooth and the trigger is very smooth. Double action only. Brakes right around six and a half to seven pounds with a full reset right there. But this handgun has been great for me. Now, the CW9, the K9, the P9, all the same barrel length. It will have holster compatibility, magazine compatibility, and trigger compatibility. They all feel the same, and, and it's extremely accurate. I love the way this shoots. Very low recoil, a little heavier recoil spring, cuts down on the recoil. I love everything about the car handguns, and the CW9 used to go for right around 350. You're looking closer to 400 in today's market, but I've seen it for as low as three and a quarter, and I think that is a steal. I'm a fan of can and can guns, and today I'm featuring the TP9SF Elite with a 4.2 inch barrel. Now, when Canik was first introduced to the US, they were selling around $300, and a lot of people took notice. It has an MSRP of 430, so it has risen over the years, but so have the features. This here has 15 round mags, already mentioned 4.2 inch barrel, a rail, a back strap, worn tactical sights with serrated black rear, fiber optic front sight, a ambidextrous slide stop, the magazine release can be switched over, nice grip, nice shooting handgun, striker fire indicator, loaded chamber indicator, it has quite a bit actually, and a very nice trigger that I am measuring at four and a half pounds. People love the Canic triggers, and this one is as nice as any other higher priced striker fire handgun. Check out that reset. It really is a, a nice package. Canic has done such a nice job throughout the years. When they first came out, they had all types of Cerakote colors. Now they're just sticking primarily to tungsten gray, which is what this would look like with the newer models. But I've been a fan. I think Canic does a very nice job. And I'm very happy to have my hands on this as well as other Canic pistols. Here we have a full-size Sarsalmaz SAR-9. This gun became extremely popular in the last year and a half. I actually made a video saying this is the most popular budget handgun. So many people were picking up this handgun. They took notice. It is full-size with 17 round mags. Easy disassemble. 4.4 inch barrel. 3 dot sights. A full rail. An HK like lower looks and feels exactly the same way with additional back straps and grip panels sort of a squared off Glock upper with forward serrations but what I like about this and this is the thumb safety model okay it is ambidextrous but I love this trigger four and a half pound striker fire gun right there with a reset right there oh. offers everything that the more popular models have just with more of a budget price this was actually at one time going for 250 i know people that got it for 250 and that is a great price for everything that you get with this sarsalmaz sar 9 i think it's cool it's been great for me and i think it is worth loving here we have the bursa bp9 cc this was a very popular model not sure of its popularity anymore with all the double stack nine millimeters this is a single stack nine millimeter very thin has mags that carry eight rounds it does have an ambidextrous magazine release and it also has a magazine disconnect so you can't pull the trigger we'll show clear here but it was selling for right around 250 during normal times, MSRP 302. That is certainly budget price. 3.3 inch barrel does have an accessory rail, three dot sights, a little larger dot in the front, a loaded chamber indicator bar that will stick up. But what sells this gun is the trigger. It is very much a soft shooting gun, three and three quarters pounds right there with a reset that is very short check that out for a striker fired pistol very short i enjoy it at the range you know it, it performs great a budget gun it's performed excellent for me since i've owned it 
you know, Bursa, they make some pretty good pistols, and I think they really created a nice polymer frame single stack 9mm with the BP9CC. So those are seven budget-friendly handguns that are worth loving. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else is out there that I missed, and perhaps we'll do this once again. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.